Hello, Damien. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm very good. Thank you. How are you enjoying your time in the UK so far? I'm having a blast. Um, probably too much fun. <laughs> um, <but laughs> it, 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 it's awesome here. So I'm excited about this event because I mean, if I'm just having a good time doing, you know, the PR side, I can only imagine when I actually come to do you know, what I do. <laughs> so. Having got a chance to come here so close to the event, can you feel the excitement building among the people you've spoken to? Yes, for sure. I mean, everybody's like, I think everybody understands how special this is, you know, mm -hmm. and, and everybody is very in tune with the idea of, hey, this is like, we're going to create something that we're going to speak about for, for a very long time. You know, this is going to be a moment for all, for our lives. So it's pretty special. It's cool. You know, I, I love seeing that and, and understanding what this means to not just us and what it means to the fans too. And like every day think it's just as important as we do. So it's, it's pretty cool. Were you aware before of how much UK fans wanted a stadium show to happen and how we feel about SummerSlam 1992? You know, we, it's one of those things like we figure, you know, I'm yeah. sure they do, you know, it's one of those things, but being here and then hearing it and seeing it firsthand. And now it's like, I really understand um, that it's not just, yeah, it doesn't matter where you are. Of course, people are going to be like, yeah, we want this and whatnot, but no, no. Be being here and actually speaking to people mm -hmm. and seeing their reactions and, and hearing it in their voice. And I can feel it. it, it it's different and it's just definitely going to be special. Having been here, what are you going to tell your colleagues in WWE when you, when you go back and they ask you about your trip to the UK and and of how they should be preparing for Clash of the Castle? It, it's one of those things that is just that re just enforcing to to the to the crew and and the staff and you know obviously the performers like it is as special as we think it's going to be yeah. or even more so like okay this is. You know, we get excited for we get excited for big events, of course, but this is one of those that is like, yeah, no, 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 we definitely should be excited for this one because everybody else is like it actually is a really big deal to everyone involved. So this is one of those that we're proud to be a part of and, and be able to deliver. I mean, we're always excited. We're always wanting to, you know, create something special for our fans but it, it helps us as far as like give us that extra little oomph when we know that it, it, we're making history you know and 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 everybody not only understands it but they're excited and expecting something special and it's like yeah well we're gonna give it to them you know you've just had SummerSlam and that's such a big event but when you look towards Clash are you thinking more Wrestlemania vibes I that would be the comparison to be honest um you have huge events, but like WrestleMania is WrestleMania, right? That's like the dream of being a WWE superstar doesn't come without a WrestleMania moment or something you've witnessed as, you know, as a fan in WrestleMania. So I guess this is the closest thing to that where we want to create moments. We want people, at least I do, I want people to speak about what we do, what I do specifically tomorrow the day after next year you know uh, that's i mean i guess it goes you know with what i one of my uh lines would want it to live forever you know and this i think is that this event will live forever mm -hmm. well you're obviously really used to traveling but coming over to the uk it's a pretty long flight and but there's also the time difference so how does that kind of affect you when you're performing if at all uh, yeah, I, you know, everybody's different, mm -hmm. you know, uh, I think WWE superstar specifically where you're so used to go, 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 yeah. um, tired, not tired, you know, exhausted. It, it makes no difference when, when that camera's on and, and we got to do our job, there is nothing that makes us, uh, that holds us back. There's nothing that hold that stops us from delivering and performing to the best of our abilities it's impossible because when you love what you do when you're so passionate uh, there there is no there's no such thing as failure you know there's no such thing as like ah uh, maybe not today no it doesn't affect us one bit that's good to hear <laughs> um do you have any good memories of performing or visiting in the uk in the past 
Uh, yeah, I mean, it's all good memories, to be honest. I, I've never had a bad experience here. Um, every time I've, I've been here, even before I was with WWE, it's always been exciting. And not just the performance side. It's so, like just walking around town and meeting people and the kindness. And and everybody's so, so nice. <laughs> you know, I, I, I love coming here. So it's always a great experience. And then obviously performing here is always a plus, you know, um, I, I, I can't say enough good things without it sounding cheesy, <laughs> uh, but I really do. I, I, every time I'm here, it's just nonstop smiling. And, um, and every time I leave, I'm like, oh, I can't wait to go back. Well, we've seen you as a part of Judgment Day recently, and Edge came back at SummerSlam. But before that, you guys were working together. So what was it like working with a legend like Edge? Uh, you know, uh, part of being a WWE superstar is, you know, you're living your dream, you know, at least for me. Um, and you, you don't really count on living the dream being like so cool you know you, you get to work with your idols you know I, that's just not something you think about you just think about like oh i'm a WWE superstar you know the fame maybe some titles and some some matches and being a part of some shows no but then there's this working with someone like edge right and feeling special like people like that make you feel special and, and it reminds you of this crazy awesome life we get to live and you know that's that's somebody i mean he, it's edge um it, it's it's hard to put into words how amazing this opportunity is and and how this makes me feel you know for somebody who not only did i idolize then guided me i went out of his way to give me advice and help me from my time going back to my time in nxt mm -hmm. um and then now i like we're on camera you know, we were partners, now we're feuding. This is crazy. I, I I don't know how I got here or why I'm here, but I am grateful and um, it's so exciting. And I, I look forward to tomorrow every day because of situations like this, getting to work with Edge. Well, you guys are pretty dark of action. And um, there were reports that it was maybe going to be a bit supernatural. So. Is that something that you were aware of and kind of how do you see the faction and feel about maybe that direction if it had or will happen? I guess I understand why people thought that, why um, I don't know where the actual rumor came from that that's what was planned because it never was. Yeah. Um, we, if, if anything, we had conversations of how we didn't want that, you know, and that included Vince himself, who did not want the group to be supernatural base. You know, we were all in agreement. We did some things that seemed that way, but like, I, I know I did a thing with lighting one night um, and the idea wasn't about supernatural, but it came off that way. And then we immediately went a gun, like, okay, let's not revisit that yeah. because it came off that way. Um, but yeah, that was never a thing. Um, for me personally, I, I wouldn't have been against it though, <laughs> you know, I being a fan of like The Undertaker and, you know, so, so many iconic characters that had to do with the supernatural. I was like, yeah, I want powers, <laughs> you know, but uh, unfortunately, or fortunately or unfortunately, well, however you want to look at it, um, it, it wasn't a planned thing. Um, so, but naturally when you involve somebody like Edge and we're, like you said, on the darker side, it's going to be, I guess, assumed and, and kind of hinted at like maybe this is a thing but no that was never part of it it was just more of the vibe that we wanted you know that darker vibe and that dark, darker you know just atmosphere and, and and people to look at us like that's different that's odd that's weird you know um and maybe um you know just get that feeling of just different you know that's what we wanted just like that's not something you see every day in the street so to speak so um, that, that's, that was the goal. It was never to, you know, be spooky, like with powers and stuff, but I would have been cool with it. <laughs> I 
for you, what's it been like adjusting from being on your own to being in a faction with um, Finn and Rhea? Uh, my reaction to it? I, I mean, adjusting to it, yeah. As a, as a fan, like, I've always been a fan of factions and groups, you know, when it comes to DX, Evolution, Four Horsemen, NWO, you know, I've always been a, a fan of, of factions and groups. So, yeah, of course, this is an individual business and you want personal success. You want your name to be up there in the bright lights. But there's something special about hanging out with your friends mm -hmm. and then doing business with your friends on screen and having a blast doing it. Uh, that it's just a different type of special. Mm -hmm. So, like, the, the idea that Rhea, Finn, and I backstage, when the cameras are off, we're, we're just as much, you know, like together and, and laughing and having a great time as we are on camera, you know, just causing chaos and, and you know, being disliked by a lot of people because of how much fun we're having, you know, and that it's both ways on camera and off camera. So this is definitely one of the coolest things I've ever done in, in, in the business. Mm -hmm.